Hello, Gorange is wrong view. This time for our sale on the 26th of June, day before our big fine sale. Uh, we're in the warehouse. What's in the warehouse time? Uh, how about this? 11.48. Look, the lovely big bank of drawers. People go nuts for these things. I'm surprised. Um, I'm surprised. Well, they look quite fun, but can you remember which drawer you put it in? <laughs> that's Don't true. you nuts. You'd be opening it all the time. Anyway, 11.48. That's quite nice. Made of pine. Um, we drift past a... Uh, Slightly uh, dilapidated. It looks like it's lot 2,200. It's lost a bit, lost a bit of edging and everything, but interesting colour. Chest on stand there. Um, further on. Nice lot of carpets in the cell. Nice lot of carpets mm. and rugs in the cell. Yeah, have a good look at those. Yeah. Um, silver chests. Blacksmith made garden chairs. Pair of cast iron urns there. Not too bad. Lot 1,009. And just up from them. Some rather angry looking uh, guardian dogs here, lot 10, 12, made of sort of reconstituted material. <laughs> yeah, they're fun, aren't they? They're great fun. If you don't want your bank of drawers in pine, but you'd like it in metal, here's one for you. Uh, that's lot 10, 13. Long set of chairs here. These are sort of early Victorian Willy Four, I suppose. There we go, they're in rosewood. Um, you've got quite a nice shaped cresting rail, this uh, pierced spar. And then a very delicate, sort of rather dainty, slender turned leg there. Uh, lot 1033. There are uh, <laughs> 10 of those, no less. 10 in the lot. There we go, not bad. And uh, what about this? Hands and feet, it all comes in here as ever. 1032, the hand chair and the footstool. That is very funny. There we go. Yes, that is quite entertaining, isn't it? You're hovering. Got to think about Victoriana, I think you have at the moment. But anyway, let's keep going. Uh, this is lot 1020, George III, mahogany chest on chest. Not a bad colour. It needs a bit of a polish, but it's quite, a nice, thing. quite a nice colour to it. Uh, I quite like these bedside here. tables. Bedside probably, tables. Probably because they've got hearts on. You like them. Yes, they're nice, aren't they? They're, really I would nice. say those are French. Mm. Um, they're not of huge age, but they've got a bit of character. They've got a nice look to them. They're made of stained beach. They've got a nice look with those pierced hearts, a little gallery so your stuff doesn't fall off the edges. And a drawer. What more do you need? Lot uh, 1029. Yeah, like those. Those are. Yep, good mm. eye. Well spotted, madam. Uh, in the corner, a bit of fun. These are uh, big sleep deck chairs. Lot 1023. And then round the corner here, um, pots, as usual. Um, substantial carved oak table there with this sort of carved nice frieze sort of in the hybrid 17th century manner a nice big over mantle here if ebonized is your thing quite a severe but nice sort of serious look to it lot 1121 mm. uh, and then this bench caught her eye didn't it 1109 that's nice this is let's move that out the, the way there we go it's, it's sort of about it's a bit of a mishmash of all sorts of things going on, but it's just got character and fun. So possibly these were from a coffer or something like that. Right. Um, and then uh, we, we've got sort of so many different dates going on in terms of <laughs> influence. Um, these are the sort of applied roundels are, are a sort of early Victorian sort of feature. And then this rather lovely carving, oak carving, oh. acorn and oak leaf carving to the arms is is 1900-ish. So... The leg is a Victorian leg, so it's it's seen many stages in its life, <laughs> yes. but it's kind of fun. 1109. Yes. Next to it, good like mid-century chair. Yes. 1106. Mm. There we are. We're not too fussed about the cushions. They can be. You can upholster them in what you will. That's great, isn't it? But it's nice, isn't it? Yes. They've yeah. Become lovely. Very popular, those swooping arms. Yes, they have. Lovely swooping arm there. Yes. And it's made of teak, so you don't want to worry about sighting for rosewood and that sort mm. of thing. So yeah, nice. stylish chair there. Yes. Quite a nice plant rack here. Not 1129, very substantial. Three tiers, though. Three tier, yeah. It, it sort of comes in three parts as yes. well, so you can sort of strap it together. Um, not a bad bookcase, this. 1133, came out of a property in Islington. Gosh, it's a big And big. Um, Yeah, it didn't look too great when it was in stand next on the to it van, so I can but, show how... Put together, yeah. it's got a quite a nice look to it. You yeah. know, reasonable height without being crazy tall. What wood's this? Slender doors. It's mahogany. Oh, it's mahogany. It's, it's a nice colour, isn't it? It's got a nice smell to it, actually. Um, and uh, it's a very useful, practical piece of furniture. Mm. So there we go, 11.33. Uh, and down here, how about a Lewis clock? Um, there's even a booklet here from Bill Bruce, I imagine. Exhibition of Lewis clocks. Uh, it says C pages 58 to 61. Let's have a look. And there it is. It's in the An Oak Long Case Clock by Kemp and Holman of Lewis. 
That's exactly what it is. Circa 1790. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. Bill, Bill wrote quite a bit up about it. Very smart looking thing. That's 1099. Looks in lovely condition. Of course, it would be if it had gone through Bill's hands. Um, more pots, black painted dresses. You were talking about this, weren't you? Yes, I. See how pretty it was. This it, uh, Victorian so chiffonier. Let's take the sign off. And then at the at the sides, it's sort of yeah. a bookcasey or mirror. Whatever. Well, that's because the mirror's gone. This oh, side has got okay. a mirror door right. still. Old mirror door. I think that's so um, pretty. I was saying these are extraordinarily hard to sell these days. They're the absolute opposite of what's in fashion, which probably means they're about due to come back. So buy it now before it. Oh gosh, if we yeah, had a place it's for it. 11 39, it's, it's a re offer it. because you can go the first time. But so yeah, just to get the right place, that'll look great. Yeah. Um, so there we go, there's a good whiz round the um, furniture cell room. We'll go and have a look and see what's in the smalls. So here we are, in with the smalls, and I'm going to share with you a lovely lot in the picture section of um, posters, mostly Southern Railway. So you're going to need to be back on that. Okay. That's, that's not okay. 16, that's 2636, because we've given it 2000 this sale. So all the numbers I gave you in the warehouse begin with a two, not a one. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we don't have stickers that have twos on, so we had to use one stickers. Anyway, here we go. This is Ilfra Coombe. Look that's at that. That's great. Great fun. Yes. That's nice. What that's else have we got? in great condition. Lovely condition. Yeah. What else have I got for you? How about Live in Surrey, Free from Worry? You see, that I'm just be... looking at the colours, thinking yep. how fab that yep. is. The golden age, isn't it? 1930s, the really, golden age really. of, of sort of poster design. Gosh, uh, this one's a bit unusual. Jersey. Jersey. So what drives the value on these? Well, it's all about location. So if you've got New York or Bugatti, you know, it's more desirable okay. than, than um, I don't know, uh, Worthing and, um, <gasps> and, and Ford. That. But, you know, equally, the right one with the right design doesn't matter where it is can be very can be very desirable yes so there's a few there then I wanted to share with you these this is lot number 2640 look at that and who do we think we think Edward Borden and this is an unfinished print of a poster he did for now let me get this right one of them's Kew Gardens that's Kew Gardens gosh and, um, I haven't seen these before. These are so great. you can look these up. They're on the on the internet. You, they're hard to find. They're quite scarce, um, and and they had oh, obviously they had lettering across the top and they had lettering across the bottom. Right. So this is a sort of trial proof where the he's done the design and it's been printed, but then they've been overpainted here print prior to lettering. Yet. Yes. So it's a sort of a stage in the process. So, so this is two six four one. And the great pelican is two six four zero. So what estimate have you put on those? I think we've got three to five hundred on those. God, I'm not surprised. They're blooming um, lovely. You can buy the sort of complete original poster for about a thousand pounds. Right. So, given that they're developmental and yeah. perhaps have the hand of Borden in them, uh, they should be worth that. So there we go. There's really something nice. fun for you to start with great in time. the smalls. Um, Versace. Yes, Versace. Medusa patterns. Um, so, as ever, the usual mixture. Uh, quite a lot you're of just warnings. walking through, you're not talking to us about anything. Well, I haven't seen anything I want to talk about oh, yet, okay. and you're not catching up, so I'm sort of drifting oh. here in, in. Sorry. That's quite all right. So, uh, yes, what would we like to talk about? How about that? That's a classic model by Menet. Um, bronze, the tethered hound. Has it got a lot number? Yes, 2416. Um, there's a collection of cartoons in the sale um, by various people, and we've got lots some obstacles to get around. But um, I come down the line here. Here's one by Felwell. <laughs> it's called Safe Landing. And there's it's a little bit, tense. yeah, it's a little bit discoloured across the top. So it's in about 100, 150. There are some better ones in better condition in the fine sale, but that's lot two six five two. From the same collection, we'll pick out a few more perhaps. These are nice, 16, 2653, mm -hmm. completely different. These are yes. round about um, 1780, 1800, perhaps even a little earlier than that. The Lord Buckhurst and Lady Mary Sackville, his sister. And then up here, Richard Lord Clifford and his sister as well. So uh, nice pair of old prints there. Uh, coming back towards you, like yeah, always popular. Two six five six. This is Eileen Soper. That's great fun. It's dry point etching. Yeah. Um, it's uh, called Leapfrog. There's no surprise there, and uh, it's just nice, isn't it? it she is. had a nice touch. So um, 
2656. I wonder what they're looking at. This is Laura Knight. Uh, well, look, there's a projection. Ah, so they're, they're, at, the, they're right. at the flicks, they're at the movies, I guess, or um, something along those lines. And um, signed by her in pencil down the bottom there. A little bit acid stained around the edges and discoloured, but, but a pleasing thing. 2658 on that one. Uh, novelty cocktail shaker. 2374. Uh, there are a couple of really nice ones in the fine sale. Uh, sort of superior quality. I think they're by Aspray, the ones in the fine sale. Sliding around the corner here, what can we find? Um, we've seen these before, haven't we? But we they're have. fun. 2371. Um, uh, uh, French porcelain, just sort of stylish bonbonnières or what have you. Um, bit of Claris Cliff. Uh, we've got. This, this one's Clarice Cliff. Yes, that'll be Clarice. Ah. Yep, there we go. Says so. Clarice Cliff. Two, three, six, seven. She didn't just do that. Later on, they did these sort of moulded designs, which don't make as much money. Hey. Um, as always, some Chinese things. Two, three, six, four. Chinese Celadon glaze. Jardiner, I suppose. Had some damage. Might have some age. Dan will have had a look at it and decided. Then, otherwise, things like blue glass, plated, this is Britannia metal, in fact, certain type of silver plate. Uh, 2332, classic sort of Victorian shape and Victorian period. Not overly desirable in today's market, but uh, you never know. There we go. Um, furthermore, sort of, of these cartoons along the top here, including some political ones. Um, Chinese Chippendale there. So... Quite an interesting picture section, this one. Yeah, they're fun, but they're not as fun as they need to be. These are 2338. They look like marble, but they're not. They're resonated marble. Right. So they ground up the powder of the marble, they mix it in with the resin, and you get this thing that's halfway between the two. So it's a bit plastic, it's slightly plasticky. Right. Um, Harry, can you come to reception, please? Harry. Harry, to reception, please. Uh, so we deal with that. Uh, so yes, they, they don't finish quite as well as actual carved marble, but you know, put tuck them away and let some dust gather and no one would really know the difference. You're reversing very effectively there, very good. Down the middle here we have some weirdities and oddities. Very good, well done. Weirdities and oddities, um, including a taxidermic raven perhaps, got one, three, two, three, one, six, or a big crow, not sure. Um, this special item here, two, three, one, two, the uh, fox on the lookout. Um, Nice big Chinese vase beyond, not an old one, 2309, but got the look. Nice shape. Yeah, nice shape, pleasing decoration. He's fun, isn't he? 2278. Yes, he is. Rest and be thankful. Crazy face on it. Yes. Sort of mad lion. Um, in carved oak. Moorcroft clock. Yeah, some modern collectors, Moorcroft. Uh, some uh, Bin Soldat, a German faience flagon, 2263. More Tibetan style bronzes. We have one of those make a lot of money a couple of weeks ago. It was decided by the powers that be that it was a good one. Uh, 2286, these are Dutch. Arnhem pottery, quite distinctive pair of those. I like the colours. Yeah, those. nice colours, quite yes. pleasing shape. So there's a, a oh, it almost looks like a handkerchief, a scarf there. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it's got, what has it got? Well, it's just patterned, isn't it? 2287. Yes. Yeah, it was wonder. made to be hung that way. I don't yes. think that sheds any greater light. I wonder what it is. Well, to... It's Indian to me, but mm. uh, we'll see what our... Oh, no, it's got something in the corner. Here ah. we go. Look, George IV visited Ireland in 1821. Oh, wow. Is what it says there. Huh. And it says the same in all the corners. Well, there we are. So it's a sort of handkerchief commemorating George IV yes. visiting Ireland, yes. just as well we looked at it really. Yes, exactly. Uh, and um, well did you mean to leave your gloves there? Yes, I left my gloves here. Your gardening gloves. Uh, no, uh, driving gloves. Um, <laughs> so here we go. These are 2292, beautifully beaded buckskin gloves. Gosh. Yeah, Do you rather, think they were rather... worn? I mean, sort of... Well, they look like they've seen slight wear, yeah. um, perhaps worn for fancy glove days. Mm. Okay, let's go around the corner. Um, have a little look behind. Not so much silver as usual this time so far, but look at that. That's pretty, isn't that's it? That's very pretty. That is, that is Arts and Crafts? 2809. Yeah, that's Arts and Crafts. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's um, English Hallmark, Birmingham, around about 1906, I would say. They're quite sweet, aren't <laughs> yes, they? Yes, they are, aren't they? Um, so, a few bits of silver, but not, not masses on this occasion. 
Um, Travelling further back then, lots of watches instead. Oh yes. It's always the way. The Actually, Ebon... Summer, when she was uh, doing the photography, she said there was loads. Yeah, loads, the Ebon flow. Getting... This looks like the sort of clearance of a of a watch repairer or something oh. like that that often get these these numerous leftovers and they always seem to go quite well yes this catches uh, my eye yes this that's, is, that's um, a thing isn't it? Eye, isn't it yes so it's a large chinese hardstone pendant with tiger's eye beads lot 2493 and want, a big tassel i wonder if there's a significance there this sort of well, I think the Chinese see significance in all sorts in of things. So yes. certain stones probably have yes. certain merits. And then the single dragon yeah. um, chasing its tail is uh, another thing. So there we go. Uh, some, some glasses. How about this? This is fun. Hermes, no oh, less. Uh, with Baccarat glass decanters, lot 2545, all in leather, that sort of bridal look that they do. I think the estimates there are three to 500. Behind the counter, We've got some lovely artists' paint boxes. Oh, look, that's look nice. Look at that, isn't that great fun? That is 2497. Here in front, another one. Both got some Gosh. age. Then we've got coins. Yep. We've got miniature Dalton. We've got more watches. Gosh, more watches, my yeah, word. Lots of watches. Tons. So, uh, yeah, tons of watches. Right. So, there we go. Great lot there. Um, do you want to look at some jewellery? Just quickly. So, yep. Yes, there is some jewellery in the cell, but it's mostly watches. Apparently one of our regular clients walked in with 300 watches. So uh, there we go. That's kept Roger busy um, sorting them all out. Picking out a couple of highlights. 2919, there we are. Masonic pocket watch with the mother of pearl dial. Good um, and yeah, that classic triangular shape. That's yeah. quite fun. It's even got a label on it. It says 1925 silver Masonic watch signed Solville. There we go. Uh, and then uh, somewhat older, this is lot 2923, um, George Pryor of London. Now often these are triple cased, so we get one case there, and um, it looks to be, it looks to be silver, possibly not hallmarked. Then there's a second case. No, this is just a double. This should be hinged. That should be hinged like that, okay. but, it's, but it's come loose. It's Signed George Pryor of London. Uh, looks to be made perhaps for the Turkish market and that's what he did oh. prior he was he was particularly popular and I think actually his name was used even after his his death so uh, it's funny. lost probably a diamond to the to the cock there so there's got some it's got some faults with it but um there we go there's something a little bit different and we do like to try and show you things that are a yes. little bit different he said trying to line it up there we go so that goes back there that goes on the top like that and that goes inside and it's all a little bit wobbly because that hinges come loose but it's quite a nice thing yes. 2986 finally these just caught my eye um look at those they're rather fun aren't they oh, george's they cross diamond and ruby cufflinks um, they're signed up. I can't read the signature from my eyes and not what they used to be, but Roger will have mentioned it. Um, yeah, rather smart those. Oh, well found. So I like those. there we go. That's something to end on. St. George's Cufflinks. Yeah. Uh, excellent. So do enjoy the sale. Have a good look at it. Any queries? It was a double sale as well. As, uh, it's, sorry, it's a double the, view. It's the one before the double view. So uh, yes, next week we're on for double view. And, and you can... no, this is this is the sale, isn't it? This for is the, the 26th, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yes. So that the view for this sale is the double view for the fine sale as well. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy. Thank you.